how to replace your RV toilet. So we decided to replace our toilet uh, in Connor's bathroom because the foot pedal flush was leaking and figured it'd be a lot easier to replace the toilet than to uh, find parts and try to repair it. So we bought a, uh, this is a Thetford uh, Aqua Magic Style 2. We got this for about $180 at Camping World on sale. So I'm also going to try to install a shutoff valve at the toilet because I like to have everything that have shutoff valves. And so then of course I need a supply line going from the shutoff valve to the toilet. I need to see if this new end on the uh, supply line will fit on the new toilet. So we're going to do that first. It's all ceramic. It's fancy. Yeah, this is a better toilet than, than what's in there. Than what's in there. Our current one is all plastic. It's the one that came with the the uh, RV. So this doesn't look like it's going to thread on. So we're going to scrap the idea of putting on a shutoff and a new supply line for right now. I haven't even read the instructions on this, so. <laughs> um, I assume it's gonna be pretty similar to doing a residential toilet and considering I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of those, I think I should be able to figure it out. As long as I can be smarter than this plastic. <laughs> Okay, it says you need a adjustable wrench and a half inch ratchet, which could be a socket, or a box wrench. It has an if carpeted, carpet cutting tool, marker, or chalk. It's not carpeted. Plumbing required. For adequate flush, a 3 8 ID, which is inside diameter, water supply line with good flow is required. Procedure. Remove old toilet and closet flange seal. Attach new closet flange seal uh, to new toilet. Lip side down. Figure one. Figure one. So who, here's the new toilet flange. You can see this bottom side has the lip on it. Let's go see what we need to remove the old toilet. Alright, so very close quarters. But I have the GoPro going in here too, so hopefully we can get some video of that. Just like any residential toilet, this has caps covering the bolts into the floor. Now because we're currently parked at Jennifer's parents' house, the water is turned off to the toilet. So I should, on the back side of it, just be able to unscrew the water line. Hope and pray that the water line fits the new toilet. It should. Just a little bit of water dribbling out of it, but that's all right. Use a flathead screwdriver to pop the cap off. Looks like uh, that's where I need a wrench. Got both those caps off. All right, so looks like you're gonna get a lot of zoomed in of my beautiful face. If you had a ratcheting set of these open end box wrenches, or you have a socket set with maybe a deep socket, 
that, those would work as well to remove these. However, my socket set's buried in the back of the truck right now, considering we're getting ready to leave for my next project tomorrow. And it's not worth the time to grab it. So, got that nut off too. I'll show you those studs, is what they're called, after I pull the toilet off. So, here may come uh, stinky. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull these old studs out. And they just basically lift right off? They just slide out each side. Okay. And then I'm gonna slide in these new studs. And the only reason that I'm replacing them is because I like out new ones, why not? They don't always go in very easy. All right, so we're good with these new studs in place. We're gonna go outside and install the new flange on the new toilet. Carry the toilet in, bolt it down, reconnect the supply line. Is that all there is to it? Connect the hose to it and that's it. I mean, really this is huh. less than a 20 minute job. Nice. So here on the bottom of the new toilet, you can see how this is kind of coned already this is kind of coned the same way that lip goes down and you just you got to stretch it a little you just stretch it around there that's it creates a watertight seal or so we hope <laughs> right So this is a porcelain one. This is heavier than an old one, but it's not too heavy. We just thought the porcelain was worth it. Especially cleaning wise. So set it over the those studs kind of just kind of pushing on it rock it to get to seat in place sometimes when you actually set a residential toilet one way to get it to seat in place is to actually sit on it is to actually sit on it just kind of rock it Seems to have helped it seat a little bit. All right. Get one nut just kind of on one side. This nut on this side. And you want to tighten them evenly on each side. What does that mean? So what that means is you get this one finger tight on this side, then get this one finger tight on this side. And then tighten this one on this side just a little bit. Maybe three or four rotations. And then do the same thing on this side. Basically the same thing as what you do on a uh, on a car when you're changing a tire. So unfortunately, that's actually a bigger nut. Let's see if a 12 millimeter fits these uh, new nuts. It does not. Go to 
13 millimeter. 13 millimeter fits those, so I think they said it called for a half inch. So a half inch looks like it's gonna be equivalent to a 13 millimeter. I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone's gonna correct me in the comments and <laughs> please feel free to do so. That's pretty well secure. Now what I should have checked before I did that is if the supply line is actually going to work. And the supply line does work. Now that just goes finger tight. So I can't really see that. I don't know. No, I'll get a uh, picture of it. We'll insert a picture into the video. Okay. Finish tighten the toilet a little bit. It doesn't need to be, you don't need a reef on it. It doesn't need to be so tight that, you know, it's gonna crack it. Just, just tight enough. Check that supply line one more time. A lot of times if on those supply lines, if you put two fingers on one side and two fingers on the other side, it'll help turn it instead of just using two fingers to turn it. It'll almost act as a wrench to do this. Mm -hmm. This blue pipe here is the actual supply line. If you follow it, it, this is a fitting that holds this 90 into this blue supply line. And that fitting just crimps around that pipe to hold that and holds that 90, this being the 90 right here, uh, into this end of the pipe. And then it's got this black nut on it. That black nut secures to this, which is a threaded connection on the back of the toilet. You just wanna get that finger tight. All right, so water's turned on, let all the air out of the lines, obviously, because we're not staying in it here for a few minutes. Just gonna check the supply line back here with my hand, see if I fill any water, and I don't. So just with my hand, I'm gonna put some water into the toilet. Check it again. There's a little bit of water behind it, and I'm not sure if that's residual. If that was there, all right, that must have been there. Cause I don't see it leaking. So you're just gonna have to do a visual and a hand check to see if your toilet's leaking. That's interesting that even after you finish um, uh, pushing on it, it still has that trickle of water there. Yep. So, just using your flashlight app? <laughs> just using a flashlight to help look for any water. Double check it behind again. All right, everything seems to be good there. Yay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for around the toilet when it drains. I'm gonna do it with a bowl that's not too full. Run a little bit through it. Check around it. It looks good. Now I'm going to fill the bowl all the way. Oh, this one has different pressures. Yeah. It's quite a, it's quite a bit deeper of a bowl, too. It is. All right, now I'm going to flush it all the way. And check again. Check behind one more time. No water on the floor, no water around the shutoff, or excuse me, around the supply line. Gonna do one more fill and flush. It's actually quite a strong stream yeah. compared to our, our Well, toilet. and this one, I think this one said something about that it's supposed to help keep the bowl cleaner. I might wanna get one of these for our bathroom. 
<laughs> but I'll settle for a fifth wheel. Right. <laughs> All right, so toilet works, no leaks. Gonna go ahead and install the caps on the, on the bolts now, on the studs. Those just literally sit on there. And they just sit on there. That is it. Toilet replaced. If we weren't shooting video, 20 minutes to replace this toilet. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and uh, leave your toilet jokes. I guess put some toilet jokes in the comments maybe. All right, well, I gotta finish trying out this new toilet, so you guys have a great day.